Hello everyone, welcome to Speedy Typing's NitroType eBlog episode 4, and today we're going to be talking about the best website to increase your typing speed. I'm going to be talking about the six websites that are, in my view, the biggest typing websites online. The first website is typing.com, and then I'm going to be talking about Type Racer, Type Rush, 10 Fast Fingers, NitroType, and the Typing Club. So let's start off with typing.com. I think that typing.com is a great website for just building basic technique. They have a great layout where you start with just the F and J keys, you slowly grow that to the home row, and then you go to like the top row and work on that, and the bottom row, then you start working on words, and I think that's really, really helpful for people who just want to learn proper technique um, and start typing. They have a good website layout, so their lessons are really easy to follow, and their lessons go, um, it's right from the J and F keys all the way up to like, typing sentences and words and then it stops there. I think the graphics are really good, it's really simple um, but really concise website design so it's really easy to follow there. But I would also say that typing.com doesn't increase your speed much because they're all basically just talking about building homework technique and don't talk about how like you could increase your speed because you're, you're just learning technique, you're not actually typing more practical sentences and stuff like that very often. So the second website I want to talk about is Typing Club, and I think that Typing Club, like Typing.com, is a great website for building the basics of learning technique because you start off again with the J and F keys, and then you slowly learn homebrew. But I don't find that Typing Club has a very particular, it doesn't have a practical layout to the website because you're doing like close to a thousand lessons, I think, just typing, like learning how to type different characters and weird like positions on the keyboard, I don't find it practical at all. No one is going to go through and do that, and they're going to like burn out somewhere through there, and they're going to leave Typing Club. So I wouldn't say it's like their layout is pretty bad. Um, but I think they have a solid website design. It's very concise, very easy to follow. You can decide how many lessons you want a day. But again, like Typing.com, you can't increase your speed when you're just practicing home row technique. So this is not like a speed increasing website. This is just a technique building website. And I say. It, it rivals typing.com, but I would still say that typing.com is superior to the typing club. The next website that I want to talk about is 10 Fast Fingers. And I think that 10 Fast Fingers is a more unique online typing website. Um, and that it's very practical and pr like just practicing common words because they don't have your like usual typing club, typing.com, learn the home row, learn F and J keys, they don't have that. It's just you're practicing typing like the, like common words like that, and you're just typing them over and over again in space in between, and you have like a minute to type all these common words, and then you see how hard your word sprint it is. And I think this is something that's, um, because it's so unique, it's really practical online. I think that it improves your accuracy a lot because of the layout. You have to like backspace before you, um, to make sure that you have 100% accuracy before you keep on going, so I like that part of it. <clears throat> it also has motivating typing competitions, um, so you can compete with other people for high speeds. I like that part of the website. They're just typing.com and typing club don't have, you don't really compete on those websites, so they're inherently not as motivating. It also increases your speed, I find, on 10 fast fingers, but not to the extent that other websites that I'm going to talk about do. Um, but I don't think that the website design in 10 Fast Fingers stands out. It's like, it, it's not the simple, concise design that, I look, that we already have on other typing websites. So, not, it's not the clearest, not the easiest to follow. But I, I do, I would recommend it for practicing common words and increasing accuracy. And it is a motivating website. The next website I want to talk about is Type Racer. And I think that Type Racer is a great website for just building practical typing skills because you have to backspace every time you make a mistake when you're doing a race. So I really like that part of Type Racer. Um, it also is like a racing thing, so you have cars. But because I would say they're like, they're tiny cars, they're called your avatars, you can't really organize a garage like you can in other websites. It's, I would say that because, like, it's not the best website design. Um, so that it, it kind of decreases the amount of motivation you get from the typing website because it's not so much like other things that you type for, like you're not typing on this, on like teams or the, the leaderboard isn't very concise, those types of things. Because of that, I wouldn't say it's a very motivating type of website, at least for me and my experience. And partially because of the bad website design and graphics, but mainly 
I would just say because you don't have all those extra things that you get on TypeRush and HydroType, it's not the most motivating type of website, but I would recommend it because it's practical um, for converting that word sprint that you have into like being able to type essays fast. Um, so I would say that it's great for great for that skill. The next website I want to talk about is TypeRush. And TypeRush is basically, I would call it, um, a kind of off-brand rip-off NitroType um, because it basically has the same concept. But there are a ton of users on TypeRush, so I still want to talk about this website. Now here's my main problem with TypeRush. It's because when you're typing the text, the mistakes are very, very hard to see. Because you're typing an italicized text, and the marker is like is, is straight up, so it's very hard to see what word you actually made a mistake on when you're typing up text. So I would say that that's kind of weird, and it's a big it's a big like um, mistake that TypeRush has made with their typing text. Um, you can also join different regions, so I can like join Canada, for example, because I'm from Canada, and then I can compete with other players from Canada. There's not there, there's definitely a membership base on type on type TypeRush because you have like the leaderboards where there's like active racers, you have like top speed. You have your garage too that you can't organize, I don't think. You can't join a team on like Nitro Type, but you can like buy cars and all that stuff. I just I went on Type Rush for the first time and I set a hundred and sixty-eight words per minute race and then I got placed like twenty-fourth on the leaderboard. So like there there is a fair number of people who actually are faster and who are on Type Rush. So I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. I would just recommend going to Nitro Type, but if you want to check it out, then it is a decent typing website. But you don't you're not gonna really increase your speed on type rush you're just going to get motivated to type more so not increasing your speed it doesn't build technique so I, I would say don't don't go to type rush but if you really want to then fine i would say it's, it's a decent typing website the last website i want to talk about is nitro type and yes i'm going to have a more biased opinion on this but i'm still going to try to provide um an accurate representation of the website and i think that an accurate an accurate representation is that the website design is great and that's what motivates typers to type a lot on NitroType because unlike Type Racer where you just have like your avatar car, it's like you can earn cars, you can paint them, there's cars with different skins that you paint, um, you can join a team and race a lot, there's like leaderboards, the Hall of Fame, and top 24 hours like going all the way down to 100th racer, you have like your achievements, the race track, I think, looks really, really nice. You have seasons, all those kinds of things. I think just makes type um, Nitro Type rise above like Type Racer, Type Rush, those types of competitive typing games. So I think that, in my view, because you have the great website design and the great website concept, it's a very, very motivating website to type on, and that's going to actually increase your speed more. So because of motivation, because people are going to type more on the website, that's what's going to increase your speed. But again, I would say because of the layout, it's not the most practical. It's not the most practical website for building accuracy because when you make a mistake, you don't have to go back and correct it. It just stops you which is not something that happens when you're typing an essay, you're going to maybe notice it later, or you're going to have to backspace. So while well, NitroType built my speed up so much, and that's why I would totally recommend it, it's not the most practical for accuracy. At times, I've gone down to 93%, but I, you can eventually, like, you can work on accuracy in NitroType, just not intentionally. And by default, your accuracy is going to be going down on the website, but your speed is going to be going up a lot. So um, that's the last website that I'm going to be talking about. So now I'll talk about what I think the best typing website is. And I would say that there's not necessarily best typing website, but there's more two to three websites that you can use in conjunction one after the other or all together to really improve your speed. And I would say that for building technique, which is the first thing that you need to do, I would say that I would recommend typing.com over typing club, but I really don't have like an too hard opinion on that one. I would just say don't spend too much time on typing club because you're going to be doing a lot of useless things later on. Just like learn basic technique and then move on to another website. And then I would say go to 10 Fast Fingers because I don't think there's any other website that's big that you can practice just word after word after word. So go to 10 Fast Fingers after that and then go to NitroType and play NitroType for a lot, right? And get all your races in on there. And then after that, go to like Type Racer and then 
convert that words for a minute into accurate words for a minute into more practical speed. And I would say that that's the best combination that you could do. But if I could tell you what I would, what I think the best typing website is, then I would say that it's probably um, typing.com for increasing your speed because typing.com gives you the better technique. Um, typing.com, you can play games where you are typing in words. You know, do all that stuff later on, do typing tests. So I would say that if you just are looking for one singular website, I would recommend typing.com for you. Um, but yeah, that is my website review, guys. Thank you for so much for watching till the end. Um, if you really like this content, then please go and watch another video and consider hitting the subscribe button. Um, I'm uploading on Tuesdays is my e-blog, which is today. Thursdays is my NitroType tips, and Saturday or Sunday is my typing tips. So go watch for those videos. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.